Simon Cowell is saying no to dermal fillers from now on. The American Idol and X Factor judge is judging his own looks, and said he at one point looked like something out of a horror film. There was a stage where I might have gone a bit too far, Cowell confessed in a candid interview with The Sun. I saw a picture of me from before the other day, and didn't recognize it as me first of all. His eight-year-old son Eric, he added, was in hysterics seeing the photo. There was a phase where everyone was having their faces pumped full of this and the other, Cowell, 62, continued. But now, enough was enough, he said. There is no filler in my face at all now. Zero. Dermal fillers are Food and Drug Administration approved medical products injected into the face to add volume where it's been lost to age or where it never existed. They can plump lips, heighten cheeks, smooth smile lines and bilge all lines, for example. But they can migrate to unexpected parts of the face and stay in the body for years. Instead of using fillers, Cowell said he's moved on to healthy eating and drinking lots of water. Amy Schumer made the same choice, telling her social media followers in December that she tried getting fillers. Turns out I was already full, so she had them dissolved. Cowell and Schumer are among a growing number of celebrities speaking openly about cosmetic procedures, showing that prominent entertainers are becoming more comfortable talking about filler, Botox and even going under the knife. Khloe Kardashian, who first spoke about getting a nose job last year, recently gave more insight into her experience. I've always wanted my nose done, forever, Kardashian said during the The Kardashians, an ABC News special with Robin Roberts, which aired last week. But it's in the middle of your face and it's scary to think about, the good American founder continued. But I finally got the courage and I did it and I love it. My only regret is that I didn't do it sooner, Kardashian later admitted on Twitter. Model Bella Hadid recently revealed that she wished she didn't get plastic surgery when she was 14. I wish I had kept the nose of my ancestors, Hadid said for Vogue's April issue. I think I would have grown into it.